And now on to the I-Team. Do you know what's buried in your local landfill? What's in one old New York garbage dump that could cost you tax dollars? Matthew Schwartz is here with today's I-Team report. Sarah, if you live near an old landfill in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut, you might live near an underground nightmare because environmental officials from all three states tell the I-Team that there are nearly 1,000 closed landfills in the tri-state area. Dozens contain illegally dumped hazardous waste. Today, the story of one of those places. Sir, do you understand what I'm telling you? I understand that you have Fine. something to cover up. You don't do you want to see what data I'm you, sir? that is in contrast sir, to you. do you understand what I'm telling you? In Wallkill, New York, some people are hot under the collar about what's buried under the ground. We found medical waste, and we found hazardous waste. There would be investigations along the stream over here where we uncovered the barrels. The remedy is expected to cost New York State taxpayers millions of dollars. And some Orange County residents are worried about the cost to their health because the waste was dumped above an aquifer, an underground water system. It bothers me so that they'd let their children to drink poisoned water. When a state environmental expert tries to take soil samples, the town supervisor calls the cops. You have been advised to leave the property at this time. Do you know of any violation of the law? Violation of the law is right now you were trespassing. Okay, you've been asked to leave several times. If you do not leave, I'm going to have to arrest you for you trespassing. That's true. You believe it is truly Sir? a violation of the law? More of that confrontation when we come back with the story of the toxic dump in Wallkill, New York. We're back now with the I Team's Matthew Schwartz and the story of the toxic dump in Wallkill, New York. Matthew? Well, Sarah Lee, due in part to illegal dumping, landfills have filled up over the last few years and given way to incinerators. But some garbage dumps in the tri-state area left behind a lot of problems and potential health hazards. And I bought this lovely old farm up in Orange County and then to discover a mile and a half from my home that this nightmare exists. Wallkill, New York. It's only a 90-minute drive from New York City, but it might as well be a world away. Many of the 23,000 residents of this Orange County town live here because of its natural beauty. It's a good place for families. And farming. Residents like to think they live far from the pollution of the metropolitan area. But now Don Terrell and others are trying to get help for what they say is a potential environmental disaster in their own backyard. I can't believe it. This place may look only like a field of overgrown grass and weeds, but it's actually an old landfill. And Wallkill, New York, may be 65 miles from New York City, but throughout the tri-state area, there are many old landfills that are covered up now. And the question here in Wallkill is, what's buried under the ground here? Some people say it's a definite hazard to residents' health. It has things in it, like uh, lead, high levels of lead. It's got some solvents because it received uh, paint waste. It received parts from uh, old car batteries. So a lot of pollutants came in here. Ward Stone is a pathologist with the State Department of Environmental Conservation. He's examined soil samples from this old dump, which was opened from 1965 to 1974 and was built over an aquifer, an underground water system that provides local residents with drinking water talking about all kinds of potential problems from uh, cancer to a wide variety of health problems are uh, possible. This is a, a, a landfill that was owned by a town and uh, over a period of time the people who were in the government in that town at the time uh, conspired in all probability with uh, illegal dumpers and illegal carters and uh, certain industries to take waste from them and dump it here and probably made a substantial amount of money in, in the process. State Assemblyman Maurice Hinchy, chairman of the Committee on Environmental Conservation, is investigating the alleged illegal dumping. The story might have been buried like the hazardous waste, if not for a group of concerned kids. Nobody knows about it. And it's a shame that people drink this water thinking that it's all right and it's not gonna hurt them. Frank Biasi and Jeff Dutemple are among some Middletown High School students who took a special interest in the illegal dumping. They spent over a year taping a 90-minute documentary on the subject and showed it to officials. This is some of their footage. IV bags and tubes. We're doing it because um, when we get older, we don't, we don't like the way it's going now. We don't like the way Orange County is running now. 
Is there a health hazard here? I'm not convinced. Um, if there's one here, I want it corrected. Um, but I haven't seen the evidence yet. Bill Cummings is the Wallkill Town supervisor, which is like being mayor. He's angry because yeah. pathologist Stone yeah. has taken it upon himself to take samples from the dump and wants to take more. The supervisor won't let Stone do that without his own engineer's presence. You want to come here and work? You'll come here and work when my engineers are here. I cover the That's entire it. state of New York. He doesn't want me taking samples here because I'm finding things that weren't found in the uh, original studies, like hazardous waste in holes that they actually dug. And he's the only one who seems to be finding this stuff. Nobody else is. The DEC hazardous waste people don't seem to find it. My engineers don't seem to find it. There were 75 test pits dug here initially. And Tom Maher is the chief consulting engineer of the firm hired by the town. The firm's tests indicate potential problems could be alleviated by capping or covering the landfill with topsoil. The capping would cost taxpayers more than $2 million. It doesn't look good because uh, the trenches were covered up so quickly. They weren't dug in the right spots in the first place, and then they were covered up so quickly. Well, they, they were dug where Ward Stone wanted them dug. I cannot see how they can say that this place ain't contaminated. Dutch Smith worked at the landfill and showed us where he personally buried barrels of unknown chemicals and medical waste. Anybody that dumped in here was supposed to have a sticker from the town. Smith and fellow landfill worker Willie Myers claim they turn away dumpers who did not have stickers only to see them return with landfill permits. I asked a few times about it, but I was told to keep my mouth shut. You work on Not my schedule. Not only that, your engineers. No, I don't work on your schedule. Well, I'm the state pathologist. Listen, if I want to take the samples, I look at it. Sir, we're closing. At four? Supervisor Cummings inherited this problem, having been elected in January. We've already identified three or four of the dumpers um, who possibly did dump um, illegal material in there, and we are in negotiation with, with them now to settle up. All because some teenagers brought the underground controversy to the surface. We have to grow up in this world. We have to live here when we get older, and our kids are going to have to live here, and our grandchildren. The remedy still has not yet been decided. Meanwhile, Wallkill officials seek money from the companies who dumped illegally. And incidentally, pathologist Ward Stone was not arrested. He agreed to leave and return when the town's engineer can join him. Sarah? All right. Thank you, Matthew.